The general idea is to trawl at a deeper depth below the surface. You can use weights such as inline sinkers, cannonballs or diving devices such as diving boards, planers or paravanes to pull the lure down. Let's start with the inline sinker. You can buy one, but hey, come on, if you are not too lazy you can make one at home. It's quite easy and you can buy the materials locally. Here is what you need. Wire cable, weights, crimps, beads, shaft material, snap and a heavy leader. And here is a recap for you. First, make a loop at one end of the cable. Make sure your loop is protected with a thimble or chaffing tube. On the other end, slide on a crimp, a bead, the weights, then another bead and another crimp. Push all these towards the center. Push them hard up against each other and crimp them in place. On the tag end, attach a snap using a crimp and a chafe material. Now you have your sinker ready. Attach the end leader with a lure to the heavy leader. Attach the heavy leader to the inline sinker. Attach the inline sinker to the main line and put your gear in the water. The inline sinker will take the lure or bait down. And that's it. Now diving boards. A diving board does the same job that the inline sinker does. It takes your main line deeper. Use this with fixed lines because it pulls really hard on the main line. To use it, you need to unwind the dedicated main line on the deck until you reach a length equivalent to a little more than the depth intended for trolling. Secure the main line to a cleat at the stern of the boat. Slow the boat to one to two knots, let the lure or bait out, then the heavy leader, then pay the boat out slowly. Be ready for sudden extreme downward pull as the diving board enters the water. Let the main line out with tension to the desired depth. You can then speed up. The magic of this method is that when a fish bites, the diving board will flip over and pull the fish to the surface. A downrigger is a separate component linked to your trolling line by a quick release system that will free your line when a fish bites. It can be, for example, a cannonball or paravane. The downrigger should be attached to a dedicated main line kept on a separate spool. This dedicated main line should be 10 to 20 meters long. To make it, this is what you'll need. Spool, dedicated main line, snap, quick release system, and diving device such as cannonball. First we make a big loop at one end of the dedicated main line. Then we attach the swivel and the snap at the other end and we neatly coil the line on the spool. Did you get that? Fishing can strengthen your skills as well as your body. Let's look at how we use these downriggers. Unwind the dedicated main line on the boat deck until you reach the desired length. Tie it to a cleat at the stern of the boat. Let out about 20 to 25 meters of your trolling main line with lure or bait. Attach it to the quick release on the downrigger. Slowly let the downrigger descend while at the same time releasing the main trolling line. Always keep enough tension on the trolling line to avoid overspill. When the cannonball line is taut, adjust the tension of your trolling line. When you get a strike, Pull up the cannonball before you try to pull up the fish. And don't forget to use gloves when pulling in your trawl lines. And there you go. Easy? <laughs>